Right guys, this is just going to be a short video, a reveal video of a new project, a new car, a car swap, whatever you want to call it. So, as I've mentioned, the Mondeo went uh, at the beginning of the week to my friend Chris. I've gotten the, the C-Class, which is going into storage. So, I was thinking to myself, right then, so now obviously I'm down to having the A6, but I need a, a car, a versatile car that does the job of everything. So I'll just show you um, around. Obviously, I'll, I'll go outside now. I can't do much filming outside because the wind is horrendous. Yeah, we're outside. He says me a six. And there's Simon sorting it out. And I've done a deal with Simon because, if you remember, this time last year, I had a vehicle. I don't know if you watched the channel then, but we'll open this door and find out. Yeah. Looks rather overwhelming, underwhelming, I should say. I kind of get in properly, I'll have to uh, get here. It needs a wash, obviously, but it's a Seat Altea XL. Basically, it's a Seat Leon, which has got a higher roof, but with it being the XL, it's an unusual car, this, you won't have seen many. The Altea, and with it being the XL, it's got the, the bigger back on it. So, like, I keep criticising why I don't like these little MPV things, which are, it is just a five-seater, but it's got a big back end on it, so it's usable. And underneath, it's just a Leon. It's a Golf. It's what it is. It's a Golf. Um, looking at it from the front, you've seen this on last week's vlog. I think it's a nice, modern-looking car. And what I love about it, like I keep saying to you, are these wipers. Apart from that one that doesn't sit properly in there, which irritates us. Uh, the wipers don't park down there. They park in the pillars. But anyways, more to the point with this one is this little barge hiding right here. The red TDI. That means it's got the VRS engine in it. It's got the Leon Cupra engine in it. It's got the Golf GT TDI. It's got the Audi, whatever they call those nowadays. Um, so this thing's got 170 brake horsepower. Standard. I believe it has been remapped, but if it isn't, I'm, I'm getting it done by... My friend, uh, in a couple of weeks' time, who we've seen here at RGM Remaps, I'm going to take it to 210 brake horsepower. I'm getting the EGR deleted out of it, and it's going to blow on the flexi pipe. And when I take it in to, for James to see it, uh, to repair it, if the DPF has to be removed, because it's part of the DPF, the flexi, I'm debating to get it sh sh quiet, uh, removed kind of thing. But, you know, we'll be keeping that one quiet. But... It'll be getting a hell of a remap done. DPF delete, EGR delete, stage one. I actually believe it'll go well above 210 brake with those uh, few extra little bits done to it as well. But we'll see. I need to find out how much James is going to cost to get this um, flexi done. So it's getting rather annoying. Uh, so it's like, it wasn't enough for uh, the MOT to be affected, but I don't like it uh, leaking really. I want the exhaust to be working as it should be. So yeah, we'll have a quick look round it, shall we? Tinted windows at the back, which I really like for the dogs being in the back. Will it be in the... Oh, oh main thing, tow bar. I know the electrics aren't um, wired up on this because the guy only fitted it to tow a little um, garden trailer to put logs in for his wood-burning stove. And you can actually see the lights on the car anyway, so you didn't really need to uh, have that. I've got my boot buddy already in for the dogs, so it's a nice big boot. It's got a dual floor. Underneath, if I lift that up, it's got a whole new compartment down there. It goes right, right down. Uh, so that's perfect for the dogs in there. Inside, again with the tinted windows and whatnot. Got the sun blinds, which I've got pulled up at that side for the little one. Nice area, nice back seats. You've got all the little picnic bench thing in the centre. You've got the auxiliary output. Into the interior, I did a lot of my VCDS program in here. We've got electric windows. This has actually got the electric folding mirrors as well. I think you've got the ignition on or something for to work those. Or something like that. But anyways, it has got the electric, the electric mirrors that fold in as well. I'll just switch that off. It's got... What I've done again, I need to reset the service light on it, but it's got full Bluetooth connectivity. I'll just turn the lights on so we can actually see the dashboard here. Yeah, it's got the sport dashboard, uh, but I actually programmed in on the MFD multifunction display. So it's got a di digital speedometer now. So now it's got the big readout for your speed as well as having... I really did not like the speedo whatsoever. I find it's very awkward to see the 30 when you're sitting back here. 
Uh, so it's nice to have the head-up display on there. I've done, obviously, a few other activations on it. I, I, I keep telling you, I do not drive with my seatbelt off, but it does my head in when I'm manoeuvring it around the yard at the garage, and it's beeping on. It does my head in. Um, so I deactivated that. It's got the cornering light, so when you turn left and right, it uses the left and right fog light. When you're turning left and right to illuminate the curb area. It's got a nice sound system in, bit fiddly this system, but once you get used to it, it's fine. Uh, dual zone climate control, tyre pressure monitoring, all that kind of stuff. But mainly airbags everywhere, lots of space, tow bar. It will have over 200 brake horsepower by the time I finish with it, but believe me, I think it's already been mapped. Uh, it's insane amounts of power this thing has, like, stupid. Honestly, this thing really does give you a shock when you drive it it doesn't look much but by god when you actually put your foot down on this thing in any gear it absolutely takes off like nothing else i've ever owned ever um i mean said ever like really high-end stuff yeah but for one of these a diesel cheap tax cheap to run happy days also got my favorite cruise control on it which is lovely to have uh, but we had no automatic lights or automatic wipers, but that suits me because I never use them anyway And it means if the windscreen gets cracked, it's cheaper to replace so happy days with that uh, But yeah, it's just a nice place to be this interior it really is you've obviously got all this it's some kind of uh, like, It is official pop of Bluetooth that all all your contacts come up on the screen uh, It's a really high-end kind of spec this one. It's quite nice. So yeah, we'll leave that there I know a lot of years they'll say, oh, Dan, you've come down a lot of steps from the A6. But now, since I've gotten rid of the Mondeo, I've gotten rid of the A6. This is one car that does everything. Obviously, the A6 was my luxury cruiser, which this does, exactly the same as the Audi. And the, the Mondeo was the one to put the dogs in and a cheap one about put the seats down, you've got a van. This is. Seats down, you've got a van. It's a state car. It's diesel. So instead of having the A6 and the Mondeo, I've gotten rid of two cars and ended off with one. So I've just nicely one car to use over the winter. And obviously over the summer when I've got the, the new car, the C-Class, the ZX and the ML on the road, I've only got to deal with this one car, not two. So it kind of works to me favour quite well. So yeah, that's it. Let us know what you think, guys. Uh, obviously I'll do a bit of a picture with the two cars together. Uh, it's not really. I, I saw him having to speak in, in the car and stuff because the, the shutters are rattling. I can't fill them outside because it's that windy. So I'll get a few photos and I'll put them on my uh, on my YouTube channel, YouTube channel, Facebook page. So thanks for watching. Please, if you like them, hit the like button. If you think I've made a mistake, leave a comment. Tell us I've made a mistake, or if you whatever anything you want to say, please leave the comment. It does help, and I will get back to you. And if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe. Catch you next time, guys.